James. I almost didn't recognize you. I'm sorry, have we met before? I think once, something in England. Nicole Hunter. My friends call me Nikki. Nicole Hunter. You're the jewelry designer. I've been called worse. It girl, socialite. It's nice to see you, Nicole. I'm sure you've got a plane to catch. Actually, M sent me. Interesting cover. But not an unpleasant surprise. Should we go? The car's over there. Nice car. It's a friend's. Would you like to drive? I feel much safer with a man behind the wheel. So what can you tell me about Pomerov? Oh, he's such a lech. But he's kind of sweet for your basic Russian oligarch. He owns oil wells, diamond mines, and his own 737 with gold-plated fittings, of course. How do you know him? Sweetie, there are only six people worth dating in the world, and I've probably gone out with half of them. Turn here. OK. The truth is, he supplies the chemicals used to alloy the gold and silver in my line of jewelry. And he's been after me to open a boutique in the casino he just bought in Monaco. He bought the casino? Mm-hmm. Another trinket on the must-have list for oligarchs, after a supermodel wife. So, I got him to delay his flight back to Siberia. That's where he keeps the wife at his headquarters, so she can't spend all his money. And we're going to meet in the boardroom, which should give you enough time to get into his office and break into his safe. Well done. So how did you... End up in bed with MI6? Well, that's one way of putting it. Darling, it's the perfect cover. Fashion shows, photo shoots, store openings. I get to travel the whole world, and nobody pays any attention. Emma approached you? Not exactly. Well, how not exactly? Well, there was this little tax problem a few years ago. A little tax problem? And a small customs problem involving some diamonds. But that's how a girl from the society pages ends up working for MI6. Yes, James. But believe me, when necessary, I can be very discreet. You can drop me off in front of the casino. I'm gonna put on my war paint before the meeting. I'll text you on the cell phone to let you know when we're almost finished. James, I'm in. Pomerov's coming down to meet me. Good, I'm heading through the gardens now. Turn on your tracker. I'll home in on your signal. Hang on. Okay, it's on. Right. Now make sure you keep Pomerov busy. If he sees anything unusual, he'll lock down the casino. Understand? Don't worry, James. I know how to handle a man like Pomerov. Make sure you watch over this area. You know what National Day is like. There's always some drunk tourist who tries to sneak in here. Yes, sir. Ah! Patrol. Sir. Nothing to report. Nothing, sir. <coughs> but I'm surprised Pomerov's asked for all these patrols. James. James. Pomerov's still not here. What should I do if he doesn't show up? Stick to the plan, Nicole. Stay calm. He may just be late. It's critical that you make this work. Okay. I'll do my best. I've got to go. Bravo. Request update. Delta team. Don't work too hard. You get eyes on the boss's business associate? 
Yeah, guess being a Russian billionaire has its upside. Nothing to report. Come in, Bravo. Request. <laughs> Bravo is stationed in 12F. All quiet. This is Bravo. Position at Sector 14B. Sector 2. Investigating threat. Come in, Bravo. Request. Delta Squad, what's your current? Delta Team here, manning post at Sector 2. Bravo Team, what's your 20? Bravo, position of Sector 14. Alright, Nicole, I'm in the casino. Keep Pomeroff distracted while I find you. Okay, James, but wait, he's coming. Double O seven, you're going to need a key code to get past this door. It appears the code has been divided between three different guards in the casino. Each one has only a small piece of it. I'm marking their locations on your smartphone now. Scan their access cards to compile the full code and access the lift. One down, 007. Clear, all right. No idea. They just said to watch the room. You know it must be some big name if they want us to stand guard. Let's go! That's another one, Bond. That's it, 007. You've got all the data necessary to access Pomerov's lift. What was the nature of this research? I told you. We were investigating anthrax and smallpox to come up with antidotes that could be used in the field in the case of a biological attack. And there was no way to militarize them? To turn them into weapons instead of cures? No. No? So why are these documents in code? I told you. I was working at home. 
What is the password for the USB drive? Tell me the key to crack the code! Stop! Stop! I'll tell you. Thank you. What happened? They've closed the casino. Get to the car. Bring it around to the front. What are you going to do? Let's see if I can tip the odds in our favor. I've got the car in front of the casino. Where are you? I'm on my way. Get ready to move. 